And we are tracking some breaking news tonight. For the first time ever, we are hearing from a member of that special grand jury called to investigate the 2020 election here in Georgia. After the Associated Press broke the story, NBC News was the first outlet on TV to get an on-camera interview with the four person. And our Don White has those interesting details from this rather secretive process. Don? Jennifer, for a woman, 30-year-old Emily Coors has lived in Fulton County all of her life, and she finally broke her silence this evening, telling NBC News the special grand jury investigating the possible interference in Georgia's 2020 presidential election is recommending indictments against multiple people. Almost eight months ago, a special grand jury started investigating whether former President Donald Trump broke the law in trying to overturn his 2020 election loss in Georgia. When it came down to it, we were just people looking into something, and that's worth it. Four-person Emily Coors is limited in what she can say because a judge ordered deliberations must stay secret. It's not a short list. So we're talking about more than a dozen people? I would say that. Yes. Coors wouldn't say if the former president is on that list, but she did say people will recognize the names. I don't think that there are any giant plot twists coming. I don't think that there are any, like, giant... That's not the way I expected this to go at all. I, I don't think that's in store for anyone. The special grand jury includes 23 people who heard from more than 75 witnesses and finished up their work last month. Only parts of their report were made public. And it's now up to Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis to decide who should be indicted. We've, Willis previously said she's especially interested in a January 2021 phone call between Trump and Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger, where the former president asked the state's top election official to find enough votes to swing the election.